On this episode of Sledhead 24-7, ride along as we evaluate some of our 2016 demo sleds. Articad has been hard at it at the cross-country circuit. We head to Thief River Falls and highlight a weekend of racing. Plus, tech guru Jeff Fisher has the latest on the new ski from CNA Pro Ski. All that and more today on Sledhead 24-7. Keep the counter steered and then just control it with your body weight. Just ready for another. Hey sled fans, welcome to a whole new episode of Sledhead 24-7. I'm your guide Carly Applin coming to you from Four Seasons Motorsports and Marine in Rapid City, South Dakota. Plenty of toys here for you all season long. We're going to talk to Four Seasons a little later in the show. But first, let's get this show started with the 2016 Polaris Sled Evaluation. I'm out here riding our new Polaris 800 Switchback Pro X. Now this thing is the most rider balanced snowmobile I've ridden in a long time. And what I mean by that is you can lean forward, get more ski bite, lean back, make the front end lighter, which what that'll do is you can wheelie over things. Anybody who's into dirt bikes will understand that how you can wheelie over whoops, jumps, that kind of thing. This is just that. This Pro X chassis is made to ride the big bumps. Over the years of riding, I rode a lot of different sleds. You know, this new Axis chassis from Polaris, they're definitely stepping up the game. They're going in the right direction on this trail sled. When going down the trail with this Pro X, I look for bumps to hit and something to launch off of. The rider balance and the forward control, I mean, you just can't go wrong. The power plant in this machine, this 800 Liberty motor, helps you wheelie over bumps. This thing responds so quick with the P85 front Polaris clutch that's tried, proven for years on Polaris, along with the team clutch in the rear. This thing has throttle response to come up to bumps where you can just, you can square it off and then nail it. Just like you see the Snowcross guys do, they built it just the same way. Moving back and forth, it's no big deal. Body positioning is key with this sled. You can lean back, pick up the skis, throw your weight around. It's no big deal with this Pro X. You know, we're, we're talking about how fast this machine is and how quick it is. Also, you gotta remember, you gotta stop it. The new Axis radial brake, this thing is awesome. A light little tap with one finger will start slowing you down. You need to lock it up. It doesn't take much. So sensitive. These brakes really work well. In this sled, I mean, it's a great trail sled and it's even a good off-trail sled with the deeper lug track like the inch and three-quarter. Think paddles through snow. I mean, it hooks up. It just feels very responsive even in the deep snow. The controls, the hand controls, everything's right here, right at your at your fingertip. From your high-low beam, your mode, your reverse, your, your hot grips. And these hot grips bake your hands. And when it's cold out, it's nice. I mean, you got high-low on those, set those. A neat feature they added on this particular machine is the interactive digital display. What that is, it's got a GPS built in. You can Bluetooth it to your cell phone. You can see messages come up or if you got a call coming up, it tells you all that. But it's really neat as far as it, it tracks your trails so you can remember what trail you did or didn't like. It's all right there. What's really nice with this Axis is, you know, a lot of us, you know, you get stuck, you're riding at night or guys that like to just ride at night. The headlights on this, LED headlights on these, it, it honestly it almost makes it impossible to overdrive. These are just awesome. I mean, other sleds, you can shine around other snowmobiles with these new headlights. These are primo. What I really do like about also about this machine, it has a 12-gallon fuel tank in it, which doesn't seem like a lot, but you know, when you want to push some distance and you want to cover some ground, 
having that extra few gallons of gas over what you may have been used to is great. The Pro X is definitely a sled for a guy who wants to hit the trail, hit big bumps, yet still has the rider comfort. The Sledhead 24-7 crew has been out riding this machine, you know, all weekend long, switching off, riding it. Everybody's having a blast on this one. This one hooks up, rides, and when the trails get rough, they love riding this one. If you haven't had a chance to check out the Axis platform, we suggest that you do. Make sure to head over to the player's website where you can try their demo ride program. Why not try one before you buy one? Still ahead, Jeff has the latest on CNA Pro Skis and we evaluate the 2016 Skidoo Renegade Enduro. Stay tuned. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics, Polaris, Terrain Domination, Articat, share our passion. Skidoo Snowmobiles, FXR, World Class Outerwear, and by Ram Trucks, Guts, Glory, Ram. Welcome back to Sledhead 24-7, where we are everything snowmobile. Time now to hit the cross-country circuit and profile some Articat racers. Hey guys, I'm Zach Herfindahl, number 312, race for Christian Brothers Articat. This is Wes Selby, uh, number 15, racing cross country for USXC Racing for Articat Motorsports. Comparing cross country to anything, I guess, I mean, it's pretty wild. There's a lot of elements. There's so much stuff you gotta pay attention to, like if you say if there's cattails, flat light, negative 20, throws and gopher mound, culvert, steel posts on the side of the road, snow dust gets really bad in the cold, and dirt and mud, and telephone poles down the rivers and through the woods and all kinds of fun stuff like that. And uh, you just don't wanna push it too much and then wreck. I mean, there's a lot of different things around here that can bite you where, and you don't know what's coming up because you haven't ridden there yet. It's almost kind of scary, but it's fun at the same time. You're like kind of nervous, but. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, cross country, you never know what you're gonna get, whether you have a lot of snow or uh, snow conditions are low. It can all vary and uh, sometimes it's dirt, sometimes there's a lot of snow and it's usually a lot of fun. It changes every lap. Well, we race regardless of uh, conditions. We race at 40 below, 30 mile an hour winds, 40 above, it doesn't matter, we race. You know, as long as there's adequate visibility, we race. You know, you never know what you're gonna run into uh, when you get here, but uh, as long as there's enough visibility to um, be safe, uh, we run the event. They make a track, mark it out with course markers, and then basically it's point-to-point -point race, like an enduro motocross or anything like that, and uh, time. A lot of these guys go out there and push themselves super hard, and you just gotta be really smart with the way the track gets. And all the bumps get, there's a lot of kickers that form from road crossings just because it's all natural, it's not groomed at all. New cat sled is really good. Motor's solid, suspension works awesome, and uh, I don't think there's any better chassis out there right now. To race cross country on, they work really good. The team has them working good, and uh, no complaints at all. Our sled is pretty much a consumer sled with a few tweaks. I mean, a little wider front end and different shocks we're running. And we see a lot of different conditions that you don't see testing normally. So that for us racers and like me and Brian Dick and a couple other guys that race and work at Arctic, it helps out a ton with development. And we're just trying to make our sleds better for all the consumers. Everything we do here at the racetrack, they keep knowing it's Roger Sky and Mike Bloody's here every weekend usually and uh, Brian Dick, one of the lead engineers, and they take notes and what to improve on, and all our stuff goes back to the factory and goes really big into the consumer models to make them better for the consumers. 
Snowcross is going well, cross country is going well. The timelines are always being moved out. You know, we're already developing stuff for two and three years down the road. Um, I'd like to say you're going to see more of the new stuff in the, in the race venues sooner than later, but that, that time will tell. What I like is I come out and I look at the lineup and when I see the majority of the sleds in line are all green, it gives you goosebumps and you just can't wait to see them all finish and the smiles on their face and hoping they had a lot of fun in the, on, on the course because that's what racing's got to be as fun to start with. Good luck to all the cross country racers on a safe and successful season. Still ahead, we evaluate the Skidoo Enduro and check in with Straight Line Performance. Plus, Jeff has the latest from CNA Pro Skis. You're watching Sledhead 24-7, I'm your host Carly Applin. For this season, CNA Pro Skis introduced a new crossover ski called the XCS, and our tech expert Jeff Fisher has more. You know, with all the new hype over the new crossover sleds, you know what we really need? We need someone to step up and get us some skis to handle the crossover. CNA Pro came to the rescue with their new XCS ski, which is their crossover ski. It's fabulous for both on and off trail. So I've been riding a bunch of different sleds over the years, and there's a reason why all my sleds have CNA Pro skis. XCS skis are so responsive on and off trail, it builds confidence as a rider. What it looked like basically CNA Pro did is they took all the best qualities of their race ski, their mountain ski, their razor, kind of married them all together and gave us a, a great ski. I like this riding on the trail as well as off in the powder. You can carve, you can turn, it feels real positive in the soft snow, as well it feels like a slot car where you're out on the hard pack. They have a one inch keel, so it helps bite in the snow and helps bite on the hard trail. Very positive, I can power through the corners rather than pushing and kind of pushing catching. When you power through like that and you don't catch or slide and catch, you're gonna have a lot less inside ski lift, which makes for these crossover sleds fantastic. They also added the scoop, it's very aggressive. and helps cup the snow. When you get in that loose or soft snow, when you corner, it helps cup it and hold you around. You're not just pushing off a flat spot on the ski. Four Seasons truly has something for all four seasons, including ATVs, snowmobiles, boats, jet skis, and if you want to find out more, make sure to log on to FourSeasonsSportsCenter.com. Still ahead, we evaluate the 2016 Skidoo Renegade 800 E-Tech Enduro, a sled inspired by the Adventure Motorcycles. But now we check in with Straight Line Performance for your SPI Tip of the Week. Hi, Jason with Straight Line Performance here. We're out here, beautiful day, out riding, doing some testing, trying some products. This week we're gonna talk a little bit about sleds overheating, you know, ways, uh, ways that's caused, how to prevent it, how to help it. Slide lubrication, wearing of slides, all kinds of different products that are just wear items and issues that are happening on trails as you're out riding. You know, these machines here, they're equipped with ice scratchers. They're a real simple product. What is an ice scratcher? It's a product that helps lubricate your slides, keep your machine cool. Why do you need them? A lot of guys are out there on trails that are hard crisp. You know, they're not throwing any lubrication, they're not cooling the machine, they're overheating. These are a real simple product that we've installed on these machines that you drop down, definitely help that. So keeping that machine cool, getting the temperatures down, performance comes around, especially when you got other performance products on there. You know, the machine's working harder, it is hot, and we want to definitely keep it cool at that point. We've got days where we got an ice crisp on top. You know, we can, we're not kicking any snow up. You know, what these do is definitely break that, that crust that's out there and throw that in there and help the lubrication. You've got a lot of machines like the Mountain Sled next to us. They've got longer lugs on there, there is no throwing of snow, they sit so high, so they immensely help those machines, 
throw that snow and ice up there, keep them cool. Definitely help out on those slide lubrications that you got issues out there for too. Full stainless, they're a high woven, very large wire diameter. They can be driven forward and reverse. You don't have to worry about getting up and putting them on and taking them off. You just leave them down all day. They come with a Woody's carbide stud that can be replaced over wear. So you've got a name brand high quality stud that's in there. Inexpensive part here, really effective. What you're gonna get, I mean, you're gonna save yourself on that overheating, saving ourselves on slides. The other thing is it can actually be moved from machine to machine. It's not something that you just buy and throw away. It can be used for a long time. Ice scratchers are definitely a very simple, you've got yourself a five, 10 minute install, full stainless, real simple. Uh, got a replaceable Woody's name brand carbide stud on there. Can be mounted up on the A-arm for great cooling effect, mounted back on the rail. Uh, can be moved from machine to machine. So it's a real simple item that uh, is not just a throwaway. It can be used for uh, many years. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics, stud boy, traction with an attitude, straight line performance, Ziegler Cat, exceptional service backing the best equipment, the U.S. Air Force, aim high, and by Speedworks, straight up USA horsepower. Every season we get a fleet of demo sleds to test, ride, and evaluate. This next sled can take anything you throw at it. Check it out. Yeah, we're all putting some miles on Skidoo's new Renegade Enduro. There's four different motor platforms you can get with this machine, like a lot of the other Skidoo's. This is the 800R E-Tech we have. You can get it in the 600 HO E-Tech, the 1204 four-stroke, and the 900 Ace. The one I have here is the 800 RE Tech, which is a tried and proven motor. This thing rips, got nice power, smooth transition, gets great oil consumption, and gets great mileage. People ask, okay, the Renegade Enduro, what is what is a Renegade Enduro? So what sets it apart from a regular Renegade or like the, their adrenaline package is? To start with, it comes standard with the Pilot TS front skis, which is the adjustable skis we've been talking about. You come back further into the suspension and it actually has the air ride suspension. The air ride suspension is something they've been using in their touring models. It works great, it's five positions from soft to hard. Simple as on your handlebar, controls to be able to choose it. What that is really great for is different riders, different rider comfort, different trail conditions. And the, a real big feature is more luggage, more, you know, putting a two up seat on it, simple push of the button. You can change the suspension. You can change the whole ride characteristic of the whole machine. Another thing you might notice right away, it has a bigger bumper, which is their cross country bumper. That comes standard on this machine, as well as an ice ripper track, which is nice. That little bit of extra stud just kind of keeps you straight. And where this whole concept kind of came was with the adventure motorcycles. Now you have an adventure snowmobile, something you can add things to, put luggage, go on long trips. Very versatile snowmobile, but is made to go a long distance. One thing I really like about this machine is the new Pilot TS adjustable ski is being able to adjust more aggressive. And what really enhances that is the new Raz 2 front end. It just makes it so much easier. You can put a lot more carbide to it, make it very positive steering, and it just handles and it's so effortless to ride. But what's really cool about this, say you are going on a long trip, you're running a lot of long corridors, you don't want that bite fight type feel, you just back that knob off on the ski, pull a little carbide away from it, it just drives like butter. It completes the whole package, the adjustability from the skis to the suspension. And it's so simple, a knob, a button. It isn't hard to change from one rider to the other or one condition to the next.
As far as adding accessories, you can put a taller, like a 20 inch windshield that'll keep you nice and warm. Skidoo makes a very nice adjustable riser with a flip lever. You can pull it up or down and you can put bags, gas tanks. What's neat about, because it is the 137, you can put two sets of link brackets in it. So you can run a bag, a gas tank, you can run two bags. You can put side bags, tank bags, you name it. You can load this thing up, fill it full of all your treasures, add a little bit of air to that air ride and go down the trail smooth as can be. This machine is so easy to ride, so easy for all your functions are at your fingertips up here. The new multifunction gauge, so it has with the temp gauge in it, and it has also comes with a 12 volt plug for your visor or any outlets, which is real nice if you if a lot of the people like running with heated visors, comes with standard with the plug in. Pull your helmet out of the box, plug it in, you're all set. Making it very comfortable to go the distance because you can bring everything you need. If you want, you can bring your kitchen sink. You just saw an action. When you think enduro, you think endurance, and that's exactly what this sled has to offer. We're sad to say, but that's it for this episode of Sledhead 24-7. A huge thank you to Four Seasons Motorsports and Marine for having us out today. Make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube page for the latest videos. From all of us here at Sledhead 24-7, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the snow.